5G network with 5G core deployed in a Kubernetes cluster for the packet core part and uh, the RAN part GNOB and UE deployed in a VM outside of the Kubernetes cluster so let's deploy the 5G core first let's go into the Kubernetes cluster I created a namespace called demo and we will deploy 5G core network functions CNX into this namespace of the Kubernetes we go to app and marketplace choose the ham chart 5GS which will provide us 5G core CNS ham chart demo namespace we name it demo 5G let's give the default value in the hand chart and what resource created Finish. So, uh, all of the network functions for the 5G core are initiated successfully in the Kubernetes cluster. One important information we need uh, is the IP address of the ANF the control plane network element interfacing with the G node B and the IP address of the AMF is 10 42 44 101 for the run network or the G node B I installed the G node B using the EV ran sim before and let's go into this VM and do some quick configuration IP address of the Gino B 10 0 2 26 we need to change the IP address inside this config file of open 5 gs Gino B IP address of the AMF 10 42 44 101 correct save it and we will do the initiation at the G node B to 5G core network specifically to the AMF we watch the status in this window let's do the attack right so at the G B it says NG procedure is successful at the AMF it says the G B via the and to interface is accepted. IP address of the Gino B is 10 0 2 26, which is that of the Gino B that we deployed. And that Gino B is added into the AMF. For the UE, 
we will do the attack to the packet core 5G core network to right the EV with the MZ ending with 11 is accepted and registered here at the AMF it says registration is completed Do a final check at the UE. We notice that the new interface assigned for this UE by the AM uh, by the SMF is established. It's called UE SIM TAN zero, and the UE can use. This interface to talk with the outside world let's ping vn express.net right successful so the 5g network is deployed in this demo and uh, it used the 5g core initiated inside a Kubernetes native cloud infrastructure to be connected with the RAN network or the GNOME VM UE deployed in a VM or the so-called bare meter RAN network running outside of the Kubernetes cluster.